I guess second video of the day. I'm gonna do something really new that I've never done before. I'm going to screen capture something and then I'm gonna use this as the audio for it. I don't feel like plugging in my microphone. I just wanna try some I just wanna try something new. It's either gonna be screen capture with the phone audio or it's gonna be screen capture with this video up on the corner, kinda of like a Kind of like a game, you know, when people do the gameplays, you can see them in the corner top, corner of somewhere. I, 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 it doesn't matter how I'll make this video. I'm just trying to be experimental. Okay, this is like the fourth person that to to di this is like the fourth person to diagnose me with schizotypal. I think you're all doing it just to get at my nerves. Can you please stop saying I have schizotypal? If I have it, then why hasn't a doctor ever said it? Please make a video response or comment explaining why. Why? Why hasn't a doctor said it? Why are you saying it but they never said it? Why? Explain. When I say, do oh, by the way, when I say doctors, I'm not talking about primary doctor. I'm talking about psychiatrists, psychologists, therapists, all of that crap, right? Why haven't they never brought it up as a possibility? They don't even entertain schizotypal as a possibility, so why you keep bringing that up? You you are so schizotypal. Why, why, why? I was misdiagnosed with schizoaffective. Why can't you just accept that I have schizoaffective? Oh, because I don't hear voices? You do realize, for, even though voices is common in schizophrenia, in the Diagnostic Statistical Manual, it says voices, is, it's not necessary. It literally just says you need hallucinations, delusions, and other crap. So hallucinations could be anything from you think that you feel invisible bugs crawling on 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 your skin or in your skin when really there's nothing there like that could literally count or seeing things even though like i said even though voices are the most common if you have hallucinations in general that is schizophrenia with delusions and i have delusions and i have visual hallucinations like in the corner of my eyes and i have auras and i have flashes of light and shit i used to see shadow people um when i say shadow people i don't mean on the wall I don't mean on the wall, I mean just like black, demonic looking like figures, like, I don't know, like Slender Man without the white mask, basically. Um, I used to see that, you know, um, in the corner of my eyes. That's, I don't understand why you can't just accept me being schizoaffective, because that's what I was misdiagnosed with. Um, no doctor ever said it was a misdiagnosis. I'm saying that it is. Anyways, to get on the main topic of the fucking video, um, I have, I'm self-diagnosing myself with multiple complex developmental disorder. I made a video about that earlier today, or I don't know if when you're going to see this, but multiple complex developmental disorder, MCDD, is a research, I'm reading this off of Wikipedia, is a research category. It's basically a little bit of everything. I had a doctor. I had a doctor when I was 15. I said to her that I worship the devil and stuff like that. And I believe in weird shit. And then I would tell her my other symptoms of like being like socially outcasted. Like I don't fit in socially. And then like I asked her like what is my mental issues. She was like well you know you have a little bit of everything. And... Maybe she was not referring to multiple complex developmental disorder, but at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised if she was referring to that. I don't know. I, I don't see her anymore. That she's a she's a adolescent only therapist, so I can't go back to her. But basically, she was probably referring to this, but she couldn't say the phrase because it's not even recognized anymore. I don't know when it stopped being recognized, but multiple complex developmental disorder was coined by Donald J. Cohen, C Cohen? C Cohen, I don't know how you pronounce it, in 1986. So it's a 1980s DeLorean type mental disorder. It's the Back to the Future type mental disorder. Um, you know, um, psychiatric, it says, yeah, it says, a lot, they got, it got removed. I'm talking fast because I want this video to be fast. I'm not manic. I'm a little bit angry though. MCDD, um, like the, di the current diagnostic criteria for MCDD are a matter of debate due to it not being in the DSM-5 or ICD-10. Various websites contain various diagnostic criteria. At least three of the following criteria categories should, should be present. 
yeah, coexisting clusters of symptoms must also not be better explained by, uh, um, 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 uh, by being symptoms of another disorder, such as experiencing mood swings due to autism, cognitive difficulties due to schizophrenia, and so on. A little bit off topic, you know how you say you guys keep saying I have schizotypal? Why can't you guys, why don't you ever theorize that I have what's called disorganized schizophrenia? Why don't you ever theorize that? Because we would, beliefs isn't a part of disorganized schizophrenia and your speech isn't too disorganized. My speech isn't disorganized. Spoon Potato Cheesecake Factory said the man said the mailman's went outside and the volcano vampire of the venom of the, of the TV um, donut shop eyeball candlelight it's not like that but my speech is disorganized when i go off on tangents and i have circumcision circumcision not circumcision circumstantial speech that's what it's called but yeah it's not due to any of that um the exact diagnostic criteria for mcdd remain unclear but may be a useful diagnosis for people who do not fall into any specific category it could also be argued that MCDD is a vague and unhelpful term for these patients. No, not for me. Okay, anyways, I'm not going to read off all of these because it's just too much. But basically, psychotic symptoms, delusions, hallucinations, kind of. I have kind of both of those. Negative symptoms, anhedonia, flat effect. Uh, I used to have that. Um, disorganized behavior and speech. Um, um, inappropriate emotions. Uh, uncontrollable laughter. Not really, no. I mean, I have on tangent shit i got off on tangents um oh so sorry if you hear any tv in the background my dad's watching a movie hopefully you don't hear that or anything okay so that's psychotic symptoms affective and behavioral symptoms depression kind of but there's a reason why mania yeah why another thing too why can't you guys say that my weird thinking in in speech well not speech my weird thinking and beliefs is due to mania you do, do you guys not realize that bipolar can cause delusions do you not realize that and literally and, literally, and people could be like but bipolar is when you have weird beliefs in a manic and a depressive state but when you're at a baseline level you don't believe in anything at all well that's why our schizoaffective comes in is when um, with schizoaffective, you have maniac, ma ma maniac, maniac beliefs, depressed, depressed, lit, 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 beliefs of weirdness, and you have baseline normality of moods of weirdness of beliefs. Y'all just don't think I'm schizoaffective because I don't hear the voices. Even though it's true that most people with schizophrenia hear voices, there's like 10% that don't or something like that. So why can't you just accept me as the 10%? If you look at my videos, you see schizoaffective. I see more schizoaffective than I do schizotypal. I don't see that much weird metaphors. Everyone says metaphors. Everyone says common metaphors. Everyone makes up their own metaphors. The internet is filled with neologisms. That's that means you make up your own words. And onomatopoeias such as brap and fap and all this other crap that they that the internet makes up why is it i saw i find it funny how people joke on the internet that the uh, the, the um people on the internet like to joke that the internet is filled with people with autism i think the internet is also filled with people with schizotypal because y'all be making up these new words and these conspiracy theories and these weird little belief communities of new age mysticism and all that stuff and all these internet memes so i think the internet is schizotypal too not just autistic Auti the autistic side of internet of the internet would be social isolation and sensory issues and stuff anyways anxiety yeah anger oh hey it says anger that definitely fits me because there's, there's no anger disorder. Well, technically there is, but I don't... Intermittent explosive disorder doesn't fit me because I lack remorse. I lack regret. No remorse. No regret. Metallica. Um, dissociative symptoms. Depersonalization. No. Derealization. De yeah. Deja vu only once or twice. Emotional instability. Yeah. Psychopathic behavior. Yeah. Um... Narcissism, yeah, fucking KMFDM. I am like, I listen to KMFDM. I'm just like, like, there's a lot of like, 
narcissistic like lyrics in that like band like like survival of the fittest you know what i mean my way or the highway um type of like lyrics so i listen to that and i feel like yeah like a fucking yeah you know what i mean and just i listen to like Narciss- gg allen was a narcissist i listen to gg allen i'm like yeah i'm a narcissist paranoia yeah obsessive compulsive disorder yeah Autistic symptoms I don't really relate to, to be honest, but difficulty with social skills, kind of, but I don't know. Repetitive behavior on patterns, yeah. Sensory processing disorder, no, unless you count hating the um, smoke alarm going off and dogs barking and stuff, but other than that, I don't have misophonia. I don't hate tapping noises or chewing sounds. I don't even notice that, so no. I actually have a fetish for certain sounds, like, I'll, fuck it, I'll just say it, like moaning and barping and farting and sneezing and snoring, which I told you guys about. I don't fucking know why. And I think some other sounds too, like slurping sound, not chewing, but just like if someone would go, like the ASMR, I'd probably get turned on by that. I don't know. Um, and sucking, you know, I'm not gonna get into that. Pearl motor skills, yeah. Um, okay, yeah. Alexithymia, diff. I. I, I know what I'm feeling, and that's emotional numbness, which is nothing. So it's not alexithymia. Alexithymia is you don't know what you're feeling. No, I know what I'm feeling, and that's nothing. Sometimes I do know what I'm feeling, though, which is, like, right now I'm feeling anxiousness and irritability. Lack of eye contact. I used to, but I think it was due to paranoia. Intense singular interests. No, you should change it to intense multitude of interests. Um, low interest in dress up games during childhood. Fuck no, I loved um, those that stuff. Learning difficulties such as uh, dyslexia. No dysgraphia. What is that like? Um, dis- um, 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 something about a written expression. Something I don't know. I I, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Dis dyscalculia. Um, um, issue dyscalculia. Ka 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 ka. I don't know how to pronounce that. Learning, do you have issues understanding numbers, learning, manipulating numbers? I don't know. I'm bad at math, but I don't know if I have that. I don't know. I don't know. ADHD, apparently. Um, syne- syne- um, synesthesia. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's basically like, but basically like words. You picture certain letters and words and colors. Yeah, I think I have that because Monday for me is red, even though there's a song called Blue Monday. But no, every time I think of the word Monday, it's in red. So I think I have that. Um, but 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. That's all in white for some reason in my head. I don't know why. Um, um, neurological sleep disorders. Uh, I, yeah, I got sleep apnea, but I don't have any treatment for it. It's really mild. Um, aphasia. I think I do have aphasia because I, I I use the wrong words, or I can't think of the right word. I say. I say, instead of saying battery, I said baseball, so it started with the right letter, but just the wrong word, and, I, and sometimes I can't come up with the right word at all, I just, I'm just, what is it called? I don't know. I can't understand what you say. Sometimes I have issues understanding what people are saying. Sometimes I have issues understanding what I'm reading, but I don't think it's like, I don't, I, I wouldn't say I have aphasia. Maybe I have like mild form of it. I don't know. Um, agnosia. What the fuck is that? Like agnosticism? The inability to process sensory information? I don't know. Epilepsy? I don't know if I have epilepsy. I do have staring spells, but I'm, I always remember my staring spells, usually. Parkinson's syndrome? The only, ti- the only time I get tremors is when I'm... Lately, I've noticed when I, when I hold my phone for very long periods of time, I get tremors, but that's not Parkinson's syndrome tremors. That's more like, um... There's a word for... When you hold something and you get tremors <clears throat> um, it can affect almost any part of the body but the trembling occurs most often in the hands especially when doing simple tasks such as drinking from a glass or trying um, it's called a es- essential tremor an essential tremor I think that's called essential tremor I think that's what I have because I, I can't hold my phone for a long period of time my hand starts shaking. 
Anyways, this is the end of the video. I'm sorry for it being very fast, and I just want it to be, I don't want the internet bill to be out of control. Like, I, want, I want to end this soon. Yeah, th that's my mental illness. I self-diagnosed myself with multiple complex developmental disorder. Schizotypal doesn't fit me. I'm not weird enough. I'm not, my appearance is not weird enough. My speech is not weird enough. I'm just not weird enough. Like, I'm just not weird enough. I guess I mask too much in my therapy sessions because no therapist ever brings it up. And it probably doesn't fit me anyways. I mean, just because you got weird beliefs doesn't mean you have you have schizotypal. So I self-diagnosed myself with multiple complex development disorder. And I'm talking really fast like I have fucking um, Ben Shapiro syndrome. And that's it.